property fans, today I want to share with you um, some more thoughts about property stock fills, two reasons why I like property stock fills and two reasons why I potentially don't like them. So let's start with the reasons why I like property stock fills. So, you know, number one is it's a great way to access property uh, for many South Africans that unfortunately through either ignorance or, or quality, you know, naughty behavior, have got their like credit records impaired and that's really preventing them from accessing um, conventional um, finance from the banks. So, you know, Stockfields, you know, and other members of the Stockfields will give the strength to the Stockfield to be able to access, um, you know, finances beyond your impaired credit record. Obviously, if you've got an impaired credit record, I strongly suggest that you work on it, on, on repairing it, uh, because that's a great um, long-term uh, investment in, uh, in yourself. So that's, uh, that's number one. Number two, which I think is more powerful, is the same way as we achieve more when we go to gym together with other people and we've got that sort of group saying, hey, you coming tomorrow to gym? You know, uh, the same way a stock fill, a property stock fill, you know, creates great group and team accountability on achieving a common objective. And in that month, you really don't feel like making that contribution. You know, you're not just accountable to yourself, but you're accountable to others. And there's research um, that I've come across to say that you are seven times more likely to achieve a common objective when you do it with a peer group than when you try to do it on your own. And it always goes back to my favorite, right? You know, if you want to go fast, go on your own. If you want to go far, go with somebody. The most beautiful African proverb, but one of the most beautiful African proverbs I've come across. So those are two reasons why I see a lot of merit and I see a lot of benefits in being part of a property stock fill. Um, now, obviously, there's risks, and uh, we're going to continue to go through this one. But, you know, I see, number one, a risk that, you know, many stock fills are, are purchasing properties on a cash-only basis. And because they're not accessing, you know, the power of, of bonds and the power of other people's money, you know, you're basically stuck in the slow lane. And, you know, I'm always for fast-tracking your property success. And to fast-track your property success, you got to make money work for you or you got to stop working for money. And making money work for you means learning how to use debt to make money for you. So that's number one. Is your property stock fill a cash stock fill? Or is he able to raise funding? And number two, or yeah, number two sort of risk and, and, and potentially downside, are you really sort of like taking control of your investments or are you simply looking for an easy way out? You're simply looking for somebody to do it for you. And how well are you managing what is happening? Are you really in control of what is happening or are you simply a passenger? Because to me, the critical thing is whatever you do, is control. Are you in control or are you a passenger? So those are like some food for thought for you, whether you're in a property stock fill or considering to get into a property stock fill. And happy investing from Carlo, founder of The Property Coach. Ciao.